lighting test here. I just wanted to say, sorry I opened the vlog the first day one without saying good morning. Didn't really know what I was doing. And two, sorry I started out just complaining. I promise it goes by quickly and then it's just happening. I don't complain the rest of the vlog, but I just wanted you guys to know why I look so tired. So back to the vlog. Well, it's tired these days because my neighbor that moved in above me is just the neighbor from hell. It's just the neighbor from hell. And I never get sleep anymore. Like in the evening, in the morning, all times of day, they're blasting music, they have parties, stomp around. Like I've never heard anyone stomp around. I've lived in so many apartment complexes throughout my life, paper thin walls in college with college kids and never had anyone be loud like this. And I went and asked them nicely if they could be quieter one time and she was just extremely rude to my face and like condescending and mocking me when I was asking her super politely. So now I'm like scared of them. I'm like, oh my gosh, like these people are clearly like not sane, reasonable people. I'm like, oh my God, like what if I ask them to be quiet again and then they like retaliate and like come for me. It's like, you know, I live alone. Like it's scary. It's scary when you live alone and you have crazy neighbors. And you don't realize it until you live alone. I mean, I've lived alone for like forever now, but it doesn't make it any less scary when you have stuff happening in your apartment complex. Keep reminding myself I've lived in much worse situations, especially in college with crazy roommates, with not nice apartments. I've been through much worse, so I can handle, <clears throat> I can handle a neighbor that's always loud, you know? Even if I have to work from home, it's fine. Like, I'm gonna be just fine. Obsessed with this palette for every day. It looks like this, just everything you need, all matte. When I was in college, I lived in so many apartments that were like infested with roaches. But in particular, I lived in this one apartment and I remember like the roaches would be so bad. If you were the first one up in the morning and you walked in and turned the lights on, you would just see them all run frantically like under the fridge and under everything and it was disgusting but the worst is there was roaches that were this big like literally this big it was terrifying waking up to roaches that big one time i went to make something on the stove and i turned on the burner and there were just flames coming up through the burner and i was like gosh like what's wrong with this burner that's weird so i went and i turned on the other burner and same thing there was like a flame coming up from underneath I was like, what in the world? So then I turned off the stove and I looked under the burners and the big roaches that were that big were under the burners and they were catching on fire. Sometimes you look back on college and you're like, how did I do it? Ooh. I feel like, I feel like we all have like a college story of like a terrible roommate or just something like bizarre, crazy that happens to you like in college. And it's like, college is such a weird, stressful, but also really fun, but it's just like such a weird time like like whether it's like some crazy person They were dating or all the above crazy person crazy roommates crazy random Sickness you got while you're like in school like I just feel like a lot of people have like You look back and you're like whoa like how did I deal with going through that while in school? We've all been there Or at least a lot of us I'm gonna use my favorite single eyeshadow Anastasia Beverly Hills pink champagne And that's so pretty. Someone's messaging me. Worked all morning and then I did my hair and makeup and got ready. I'm just wearing this Amazon workout top and some plain black leggings because I'm starting a beginning a beginner series yoga class tonight because and then I'm probably gonna go to my friend's house to watch The Bachelor, even though I don't really watch that show. I only watch if someone asks me to come watch. That should be fun. And at 1.30, I am going to get my teeth cleaned at the dentist. I gotta really get back to work. But the fun thing about the dentist is one of my really close friends cleans my teeth.
good. I didn't have any cavities. That's what I care about. It is a rainy, cold day. And it's never like this, but I'm excited because I get to wear this fun waterproof parka that I never get to wear because it's never this cold and it's never rainy. So <laughs> I am excited about this weather. Come at me. Come at me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Best song right where you left me. So I'm going to go jam out some Taylor Swift on my way home. And I'll see you at See you back on the vlog at my place. working and it's a little after five now and I still have a lot I need to do but I'm just going to keep working until I leave for class probably and I've been listening to the morning toast as I finish up here I like listening to that podcast I also listen to chicks in the office sometimes a lot of times like I'm not even really paying attention to it I just like the background noise of it you know does anyone else listen to those podcasts I'm gonna get back to it. So I had to take a break from like work work. Started working on editing this video I filmed. It's like a current favorites slash 2020 favorites, a whole bunch of random items. So that's up, I'll link it below because you should check it out. Good stuff mentioned for sure. So I gotta eat something. I gotta leave here at 7. It's 6.15 now. Just editing this video. Gotta send a few more emails. Figure out a few more things. Trade stuff I gotta do for work. Edit this. Eat something. Leave here in 45 minutes. I'm kinda sleepy, yo. I'm not gonna lie. Little sleepy. Little sleepy. Little sleepy. Little sleepy. You know what sticking my tongue out like that makes me think of? It makes me think of Megan the Stallion and Cardi B that are always just like eh. It makes me want to listen to Megan the Stallion song where she does it a lot. Eh. I'm gonna listen to it now. Just got out of the yoga class, which was so nice. I haven't been to an in-person yoga class in so long. <laughs> and it was just so nice to start from the total beginning, the basics. Oh, starting to feel like a real human again, you know? But every time on my mat, my mat's like black. And every time I set my head down on my mat, it's just like the biggest spot of makeup ever. <laughs> and then I'm always worried I'm gonna lift my head up and I'm just gonna have a big spot of no makeup on the middle of my forehead. Um, yeah, it's a problem. But now we gotta go watch The Bachelor. I got some. And from the looks it's gonna take a lot of faith and prayers to get to the bottom of this thing safely. What are you doing? What are we doing? Hello! We love Matt. We love Matt. We, we do love, love Matt. Matt. It's Tuesday, and I've been literally working all morning, so not a whole lot to show you this morning and I have so much work still to do, but I am about to show you the best tasting protein smoothie ever. It literally tastes like a snickerdoodle. Yes, I got the, I can't remember if I Googled it or got it, got it off of Pinterest. Either way, I'm gonna show you this. It's delicious. I also am going to Japanese tonight. They cook in front of you. I never go there. I haven't been to one of those restaurants in so long. I mean, my girlfriends are going to that tonight, and then I have to be at the gym at 5. So that's all I have left to do today. But I'm still trying to edit my video. And there's really no time to, like, edit a YouTube video. Like, But so many people work full time and, like, get it done all the time. I just don't know how they do that. Let's go ahead and make this amazing shake. Literally completely out of toilet paper. I'm gonna have to go to the store.
<laughs> yeah, I did. We and we and Conky going up on a Tuesday. There's no one else in the mall. It's literally only us. It's creepy. <laughs> For real. I used to work in this mall. Fun fact. <laughs> Just got back from dinner, but some of us went to the Cheesecake Factory and picked ourselves up a little treat. <laughs> Let me show you because I got the best kind they have. Adam's Peanut Butter Cup Fudge Ripple, the best one. Yes, I cannot wait to eat this. But for right now, I'm literally so full, I feel like I'm gonna pop, so we're definitely saving this for another day. It's Wednesday and I've literally been working all morning and I just made some hard boiled eggs because I'm obsessed with hard boiled eggs right now. So I'm gonna eat those for lunch. And I so I got these eggs from Whole Foods and I'm obsessed with Whole Foods. I'd never been in there before even though I don't live too far away. I don't know why I've never been, but I'm obsessed because I feel like they have so much good food and keto friendly food that I can't find in a normal grocery store. Like I just can't say enough good things. Yum. Yummy. Honey. What? Good morning. It's Wednesday. I just got out of a meeting for work, but I didn't really feel much yesterday because honestly all I did was work. Moving on to today, it's Thursday and I've been reading my book that came in the mail this week, Girl With No Job by Claudia Oshry. Oshry, yeah. She has a podcast called The Morning Toast with her sister that is every day. Definitely recommend if you like listening to like pop culture, her and her sister have a very relatable, just fun dynamic and she is really funny in this book if you know who she is it just sounds right out of her mouth like everything she says is so funny in her voice i don't really read a lot of books and when i do i never laugh out loud but this one like i will read stuff and actually be laughing out loud so if you're interested in this definitely recommend because i'm loving it and i'm gonna get back to work i'll catch you guys in a little Wait, also look how exciting is this that came in the mail this week that my mom sent me as an early birthday present this is an external hard drive. This isn't the exciting part. But I mean, that's pretty cool too. <laughs> but it's a ring light. Finally, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how freaking excited I was when I saw this. <laughs> Most worn shoes of 2020. Definitely these slippers. Yes, they're Ugg slippers. I splurged, but I mean, they're all I've been wearing. So for me, it was well worth it. I almost wanted to mention these in a video as a favorite, but I didn't. But just so you know, like if you're debating it, I mean, now is the time, if there ever was a time, to invest in expensive slippers, considering how much more we are at home. And these actually keep my feet warm. I love them. Okay, y'all, so I've literally just been working all day. Obviously, I play with Leo some in between working, but I look a little gross right now, too. Um, but I have to leave and go to the gym. Today, I'm just doing weightlifting, so I'm just weightlifting. Um, I do like wearing the Brooks running sports bras. They're not something that I would 
want to run in by any means unless I have another sports bra over it. I'll leave the video below where I go over these sports bras though and I also have a more exciting sports bra video on the way where I cover sports bras that I actually do like to run in that I have come across recently. But yeah, be on the lookout for that. And tonight my friend's coming over and we're gonna watch the Southern Charm reunion. So pretty pumped about that. <laughs> Abby brought us food. She brought it for herself, but I'm eating all of it. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> Just play this commercial? Yeah, let's get to it. T-G-I-F. It's finally Friday. And I'm trying out my new ring light right now. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit I had on yesterday because I only wore it for a little bit before I changed into my gym clothes. Thank you. But oh, this ring light is everything. I'm so excited to film with this. Yay! Anyways. It's Friday, I've just been working all morning and I have to run into the office and do something for work, for my job, and then work some more, and then hopefully go get my nails done. That's all I have on the agenda right now. I also wanna make some eggs really quick, but the Southern Charm reunion last night was <laughs> so good. Throw some bacon on one thing I love. Served. Yum. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm gonna eat way more bacon than just three pieces. I don't eat breakfast, I always skip breakfast and just eat lunch. Um, and a lot of times I will make breakfast for lunch. And I try to stick to high protein when I'm eating at home. And I'm also gonna take my vitamins. I take a ton of vitamin D, um, do your own research. There's a lot of misinformation out there that you gotta get through, but vitamin D is really important. And I take fish oil, turmeric, magnesium, K2, with my D, do your own research on what vitamins you think can help you. I also take a probiotic, especially because I was on antibiotics for the longest time for my acne. There are some that our soil is so depleted of nutrients that our food doesn't have and you should take, but, but now I'm gonna eat this. 